सो हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू स्किल्स विजन और लास्ट टाइम हम लोग ने यहाँ तक कंप्लीट कर लिया था एंड हम कुछ आना था प्रोफेसर फिक्स से मिलने मैप चैम्बर में एंड जितना मुझे लग रहा है हमारा था ट्रायल ये है वेलकम बैक थर्ड ट्रायल हम लोग कंप्लीट करने जा रहे हैं अब हेलो प्रोफेसर आई हैव न्यूज़ The goblins are looking for something, another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Ah, oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival, and I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. थिंक मेरा क्वेश्चन चल रहा था लेकिन क्वेस्ट हुआ नहीं चलो पॉपी से मिलते हैं शायद उसके बाद हो जाए स्टार्ट वो आ गया पॉपी से मिलने क्या पहले पॉपी से मिल लेते हैं अच्छी लड़की उसकी मदद हो जाएगी और कुछ हमारी वजह से नहीं हमारी वजह से क्या वही खुद गई थी ड्रैगन के पास उसकी मदद करने तो उस वजह से उसके यहाँ तकलीफ हो गई है थोड़ी सी यहाँ रहती है नहीं Is this where we're meeting the centaurs? Well, they don't exactly know we're coming, so it's less of a meeting and more of a surprise, I suppose.
Once we tell them about the Snidgets, they'll understand why we came and they'll want to help. I hope you're right. Perhaps they'll be able to tell that we're sincere. There's something about them that's so knowing. It's almost unnerving. They don't know any more than the rest of us. I suppose they are known for having an air of omniscience. That's exactly the right word. I just... never mind. What is it? It's nothing, truly. I've... we've no secrets to hide. That's right. We'll simply be honest with them about what we're trying to do. They'll have to help us, won't they? Yes, of course. You're absolutely right. We'll meet with them, tell them about the Snidgets, and I'm sure to all be fu- What do you think you're doing here, humans? Please! We were hoping to speak with you- Ah! I suppose you'd like a tale for your friends of the time you spoke to a centaur, and it spoke back. No! Never! We're here because we need your help! Enough! You made a grave error in judgment in coming here, little witch. Leave them be, Alec. We do not harm the young. It is not our way. You forget your place, old fool. I'm the leader of this herd, and while you cling to our way, their kind continue to slaughter beasts like us without a care. From what I can see, they have slaughtered no one. They will leave here unharmed. Mark my words, Doran. If I ever see them again, it will be all three of your heads. <clears throat> Foolish children. Do you know what happens to wizards who wander here? Now, follow me before Golden I... Golden Snidgets are still alive, and the poachers are after them. They know that the key to finding them lies in the moonlight, but they don't know what that means, yet. Please, help us find the Snidgets before the poachers do. Could it be? In the south, there is a cave within which lies what the poachers seek, a moonstone. Retrieve it and place it in the henge in the forest. I, on the other hand, must go speak with the herd. Find me after you have done this. I don't understand. So the moonlight mentioned in the journal doesn't refer to actual moonlight, but to a moonstone. What do moonstones have to do with snidgets? And why was he so certain about where we could find one? Isn't Moonstone all around us? Why retrieve one from a cave? Knowing centaurs, I suspect he's referring to a specific Moonstone. We'll likely know it when we see it. Okay. I don't know, but I am inclined to believe him, what with his being a centaur and all. I am too. It is a shame how quickly he left. What was his name? Doran. That's what the leader of the herd called him. Well, if Doran knows something we don't, I'd rather act now and ask questions later. I can head to the library and start looking into the cave you mentioned. I'll let you know what I find. Sure. मेन क्वेस्ट करते हैं फिर
लोग फर्स्ट टाइम जाने वाले हैं हेड ऑफिस हेड मास्टर के ऑफिस में क्या होगा हमारा I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio! Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Look at the ninja now, but differently. Hogwarts survives the reign of this headmaster. There he is, there he is. Hello, Zenobia. What did you need help with? I need someone to collect my gobstones that have been hidden in very high places all over the school. I just did it, right? Revelio. What do you want? Kill right away with it. Off on another adventure, are we? the professor fix mujhe laga black ke ja rahe hain ek minute why now dummy guys सुबह तक यहीं पे सुलवा दिया क्या कर रहे थे आप प्रोफेसर फिग द कीपर्स हैव शोन मी वेयर द नेक्स्ट ट्रायल इज हैज समथिंग चेंज्ड लॉर्ड गॉक एंड आई हैव लर्न दैट द गॉब्लिन्स आर सर्चिंग फॉर अनदर रिपोजिटरी लाइक द वन वी सो एट रुकवुड कास्टल एंड आई डिस्कवर्ड दैट दे आर बिल्डिंग मैसिव ड्रिल्स टू हेल्प इन देयर सर्च प्रोफेसर फिट्जेरल्ड सीम्ड वेरी कंसर्न्ड आई सी रैनरॉक क्लियरली नोस इवन मोर देन वी सस्पेक्टेड एंड सर There's something else. Lord Gok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing research. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to hear more of this. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lord Gok directly. 
But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. A polyjuice potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait, doesn't polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have polyjuice potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope, who could be anywhere in the castle. You might look for Professor Kagawa. She's taken to badgering the poor elf about Quidditch in the hopes that he can convince Black to change his mind. Thus far, unsuccessfully. I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. I shall tell him where to meet a liaison from the Ministry in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. <laughs> now to find the Headmaster's house elf. I don't have any magic. Professor, a moment of your... Professor, oh, I was dear. hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Oh, really? Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children! If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. What could the headmaster want? Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley! What are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor! Yes, of course! All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago. Muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, sir. I hear you're getting quite good at those concoctions you brew. I say, why don't you bring a sample of your next batch to my office? I'd like to give it a try. What? Uh, yes, sir. I will. Thank you, sir. Thank you. On your way, Mr. Weasley.
Well, there's one for my diary. Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. Headmaster, here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with, uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine, uh, moustache paste. Yes, moustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. Something is... I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Professor, a word? Professor Black, again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kogawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they're fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What? Nonsense. That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. <laughs> and I spotted Scrope in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. <laughs> what did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. Oh no, it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Bloom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Non-verbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. Well, keep at it, Bloom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? You don't know? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Chewing with your mouth open? Where are your manners? Where are your manners? Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how it's Jake delightful Jake to see you. Sir? Ah, oh uh, since God. I have you here, I wonder if I might um, speak to you about Jake Professor Fig. Oh. Very well. I've decided to give him a bit more uh, leeway with his time. Leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well. 
Yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness! You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <coughs> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good! Good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand this. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Professor Black is happy with Scrope's performance as his house elf. Scrope! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Uh. Uh, the polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. Uh. <laughs> Made it just in time. It's wearing off. <coughs> Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Incendio! How inconvenient travel was before I invented yeah, it.
नहीं यहाँ तक तो कभी नहीं आया I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Revelio. Oh, upper me. Akio. Revelio. What are you up to now? Is your other Majadara? Or go go blood of fire all I. Revelio. Revelio. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Akio. Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. 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 The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. Revelio. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto.
Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. ऊपर में क्या है? यहाँ तो first time आ रहा हूँ मैं। तो मैं भी level three का lock It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say more. You may recognize some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. That must be the pedestal. What new opasani ka mukha milega ki nahi? Revelio. Chama. Am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. I am old enough a Hobbesfield shudders when they see me coming and right in this place as in life death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. I should have run when I could. I'd be free by now. <sighs> I'd best move while I can. 
Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. I see a staircase straight ahead. They won't be able to find me if I go up there. Gone. For now, I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be another way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Closed tight. No way but forward, I suppose. Now's my chance. That's the way forward. I think I'm invisible. Oh my god, it's an invisible clock in here.
They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the one you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. The Elder Wonder. Best trial ever. I've never felt such power. Revelio. Descender. Depulsor. Bombarda. Defender. Depulsor. Descender. Depulsor. Descender. Bombarda. Defender. Descender. Revelio. Depulsor. Rebellion. Depulsor. Descender. Bombarda. Depulsor. Descender. Predator. Stupid. Descender. Bombarda. Depulsor. Revelio.
Defendo, bombard them. Stupid one. Depulsor. Potato, stupid one. Bombard them. Defendo, Depulsor. Bombarda. Depulsa. Descender. Bombarda. 
to Pulsa. Ascender. Bombarda. Fight, yeah, what a fight. Man, I almost the Sapandra portions cut on for the opening. Rules go around him both power lady, I think. Baki subject. Stone. This must be for me. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. <laughs> She's gone. Oh, poor Neve. Gone so. <laughs> Neve. May her memory be a treasure to us forever. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Best trial of our best. Death, deathly, I look at the one for his story. Oh, Lord, is a door. What you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. 
And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. And saw again. what I did for my father. Oh, imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. What are you doing? Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's a door. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. Revelio. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizardkind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other Keepers. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was. And she pulled emotions, as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald. Without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in goblin silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. I hope to hear from Lodgok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. Revelio.
Uf, what a day. साइड ऑफ माउंटेन आप आज भी करते हैं आज का पूरा ट्रायल बहुत I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. What did he fix like this? Accio! That's the last of I Zenobia's think. gobstones. I should go and see her. So, spider and. Uh... जीरो टू नाइन यानी एट एट है तो एट वन तो वो प्लस फोर फोर हो रहा है इधर तो फोर में आएगा एट नाइन फोर Revelio. Better. So, thirteen plus sap. Plus sap, हो गया. Three. So thirty-nine, thirty-nine. No. Three. Six. So solar plus so five. So five per aega crab. Okay, crab by the aega. And it will move the straw aega. Rebellion. The car's command is not good. I have to do this. Lumos. Rebellion. बोला है किधर छोड़ो ओ ये रहा लूमोस
They're not Dura. I hope you've had more luck than I did tracking down my gobstones. Hello, Zenobia. I found all your gobstones. Really? I didn't think it was possible. However did you do it? Common sense and basic magic. Well, <clears throat> may I have my gobstones back? <laughs> of course. They are yours, after all. Oh, how wonderful. I shall dedicate all of my future victories to you. Speaking of which, now that I have all my gobstones back, I wonder if anyone in the common room would be up for a game. I'm sure they'd be willing to play after the trouble spent getting them back. It's a fine idea. Isn't it? Oh, we'll have so much fun together laughing as all the losers get sprayed, which won't include me. Very well, off I go. Wish me luck. How nice to see you, my young friend. Revelio. He closes your eyes. Bye bye. Chill. <clears throat> oh, Sebastian coming is an idea. Mandrik wala went in and uh, venomous tentacles wali oh, cabbage. Hogs meat, here I come. Historically speaking, uh. there's never been a team like this year's cannons. Hello there, come on in. Plenty to look at here. Hmm. It does not seem like you have enough.
Nothing like finding just the right thing, is there? I think you teach care. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Uh, uh, Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. A phoenix nest? I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. 
Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in danger. Well, I'd better go and rescue it then, hadn't I? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's prior master. Deke hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. I think the room is perfect now. Just focus on it, I don't have it. Everything is going on. Hey, what is the fertilizer going on here? I can take a beast here, which I can take a beast. Just finish the phoenix. Take things. You Akio. should have all the potions you've brewed. This will be more useful when I have something to identify. अगर आप आप लोगों को अभी तक किसी पसंद है तो डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक यार तो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में जिसमें हम फिनिक्स को रेस्क्यू करेंगे एंड और सेबेस्टियन की हेल्प करेंगे एंड नेटी की हेल्प करेंगे तो ये तीन चीज रहेंगी ठीक है ओके ये मेन चीज रहेंगी इसको देखते हैं बाद में हमारे पास सारे स्पेल्स हो गए हैं सारे आइटम्स हो चुके हैं हमारे पास पांच भी ये भी हो गए वाह लेट्स गो ना परसेंट कंप्लीट हो गया मेरा कंप्लीट लेवल पे मेरे पचास परसेंट कंप्लीट हो गया ऑलमोस्ट तो यही है अभी तक
Easy. चलो तो भाई आज के लिए बस इतना ही मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तो तक टेक केयर पीस एंड